Hi everybody, welcome to my Zombie Army 4 quick start beginner's guide. Now, first thing I'd say is Zombie Army 4, it's not a complicated game, and the game is also very good at telling you how to play it as you go along. But I thought I'd do just a quick guide, maybe just to help people through with picking up a Zombie Army game, or a Sniper Elite game, kind of, for their, for their first time. So the first thing first, Zombie Army 4, you can play a campaign which is linear levels with horde modes and linear levels and it goes through the whole story of what's going on which is really cool and then we have the horde mode which as you'd expect is you versus waves of zombies in a fairly small area where you start off with just like a pistol and then you get other weapons and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and you've got to survive for a certain number of levels before you can escape or you can just crack on and you can play both of these co-op or by yourself now what's worth looking at are the records here these are these are really cool here because one of the core principles behind zombie army 4 is player progression and player progression and weapon progression i think they really dr uh, drive the fun you have with the game as well because the higher uh, you progress as a player the better perks you can unlock which makes your character more powerful and the more zombies and enemies you kill with your weapons means the power more powerful they get and funnily enough the game actually gets easier the more powerful you get because things like health gen gen regeneration get better your guns become better at taking down zombies all that sort of stuff so progression is very important and you can progress through the game basically by playing it as you play it and you kill zombies you know you'll 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 get points which will rank up you and you'll rank up your gun um, you can also get uh, you can fill out your stickers and as you can see with these stickers you earn XP so if we go across to oh, so go down to zombie set 2 if I manage to stomp 3 medic carrier grunts until they burst I'll get 200 XP and let's see what I had to do to get this one I had to st stomp 3 ammo carrier grunts and I probably got like 200 XP so that um, ranks you up as well you also have collectibles all throughout the game um, so you'll have things like uh, in fact, let's go you'll have things like comics that you pick up now the cool thing about comics is that not only are they fun to look at, but as you collect them, you can unlock different perks as well that will make your character more powerful. And depending on the collectible, whether that be a comic or a zombie hand or the most obvious, which are the weapon upgrade kits, hint, hint, <laughs> that upgrade your, upgrade your weapons, um... Uh, you, know, you know, so you always want to be looking around for stuff. And then finally, we've got the tutorials. So, again, if you're not quite sure about how something works, have a look through these. Really important ones are, if we go to the items, and it's, say, med kits. So the way that health regeneration works in Zombie Army 4 is that... Um, it's not automatic unless you're right at the end of your health bar and you get a little bit of health back. You have to use med kits, which you apply by pressing down on your on your D-pad. Um, and then you find them. Sometimes zombies will have them on them. You'll see little icons on zombies every now and again. And if you stomp them with your top left shoulder button, you can get that, whether it be ammo or med kits. Or you'll find them in crates dotted around the map. Or you'll find them in the safe rooms as you move from level to level in the campaign mode. Um, but also what's very important is is a the divine grenade have they got it one in here so the divine grenade that you'll find is a special grenade that when you throw it not only will it allow you to deal double da damage to the zombies but more importantly the divine grenade heals you so you can just throw it at your feet just tap the throw button once you've equipped it and then stand where it's exploded and you will heal up on some of the harder uh, levels the divine grenades are a lifesaver and you've got things like uh, you've got uh, ordinary explosive grenades and you've got various traps that you can use but just remember that tip about divine grenades if you find them keep them but only use them when you need them for health recovery then if we come over to um, uh, player and combat a core principle behind zombie army and sniper elite is the headshot with your sniper rifle or any of the other guns that you have and you activate that with your top shoulder button and your character takes a breath kind of relaxes 
and time slows down it makes it much easier to get headshots a little marker appears showing you where your bullet will drop but we also have um, here we go the overkill weapon assist so the okay overkill weapon assist what that does is when you've killed 10 enemies and you've unlocked it You've got to uh, you've got to unlock it when you press your shoulder button. Not only will you get to hold your breath, but your bullet will do a lot more damage. So it will go through a few enemies or take down a really powerful enemy. For your shotgun or your submachine gun or your, your assault rifle, you also have weapon focus assist. Now this is critical, and you'll see this when I when I do the gameplay. The way that weapon focus focus exists is, and this is new for Zombie Army Four. Is that when you've killed ten enemies with your with your submachine gun, you aim down sight, you tap the shoulder button, and time slows down so you can go headshot to headshot to headshot with a shotgun or an SMG. And it is brilliant. It's very 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 good. But again, you have to unlock it. They're not available at the beginning. Overkill and weapon and the brain buster. Now the brain buster is the one for the pistol. Again, you won't have this at the beginning. You have to unlock it by playing through the game. And with the brain buster assist, what happens with the pistol is you aim down sight, you activate it with the shoulder button, and then you just aim at three zombies without firing, and then it will lock onto three zombies. You press the trigger and then it'll bang 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 and it'll headshot them. So they're really cool. Now, we also have <laughs> melee takedowns. Now melee takedowns is when you've killed uh, you've got 10 combos you then hit uh, it will be X on Xbox or uh, X on PlayStation or A on, on Xbox and that does like a they vary he, he does some cool things he might use a knife he might use a pistol he might use a machine gun to take down an enemy but when you do it you get some health back and some ammo so when you get a low on health again this is something that if you can do it safely you do a melee takedown um, and you'll get some back and then you get the special melee attacks Now the special melee attacks you equip different ones and I think you start off with a punch I think the different characters have different ones the one that I, I think is probably the best is the hammer and the hammer you, you basically you do a stomp attack and it charges up you do a stomp attack and it, it knocks back all the enemies around you and probably kills them so there we go so hopefully i've covered some of the they're the important things to remember when you actually see me playing the game you, you, you'll kind of understand kind of understand what's going on so what we'll do next is we'll go to the campaign and we'll go to a um a workbench so you can see the kind of uh, adjustments you can make to your weapons okay so the way that you can alter your character and your weapons um are when you're uh, in the campaign um, and you're in a safe room you'll come across the workbench um, you can also go into your records here and look at those tutorials we're talking about so if you're not sure about something you know check it out and, and it'll tell you a little bit more about it um, so we go to, let's go to the workbench and here we have our character and, our, and the various guns that we've got so guns that you want to run with it's, it's up to you they're all really fun i go with the mosan nagant uh the uh, mp44 and the 1911 nice solid the shotgun's really good fun as well you may want to go with something say a little bit faster firing something like the Gewehr 43 maybe but i like the mosan because it is a sniper rifle so let's have a look at the sniper rifle now as i said before progression is what it's all about with uh with sniper uh, with zombie army 4 and it gets easier the further you get so in order to uh, level up your gun not only do you have to kill zombies to increase the guns level but you also have to find weapon upgrade kits which you can then use when you get to certain levels uh, with that gun um, and then you f basically follow a skill tree as you go along um, and you can choose which which ones you want to have. Um, you're really going to just be filling, <laughs> putting everything into them. And then when you get to the top of the skill tree, you can then decide um, whether you want to follow a particular path. So let me to be a bit clearer. Let's have a look at the scope. So the first scoop, scope I can zoom to eight. The second one to twelve. And then I can choose between the vampire scope. Or having a bayonet now I could I can unlock both of those but I can only equip one of them at a time so I've gone for the vampire scope because that gives you a little bit of health when you do a critical hit on a zombie so when you kill them like a headshot or something like that and then magazine 
um, faster um, rechamber, um, faster rechamber, and then I've gone for even faster rechamber. So it's so I, between shots I can fire quickly, or I could unlock re reload time, which is reloading all those bullets in. And then as far as explosive rounds go, I've got the standard one, the bigger one, and I could either choose to really increase the damage output or increase the radius of that damage output. Um, so as you can see, you've got quite a few choices, and as the guns level up, they get more powerful, and that's where the game becomes more fun, and especially when you get the vampire scopes, because then even when you're in a low health situation, you can still blast away, and you can, you're getting a little bit of health back, because health management is quite tricky in this game. We've also got skins you can you can change, you can add red, red change reticle, all that sort of stuff. So as I say, to do this, you need to level up the gun by using it, and then you have to find weapons upgrade kits. Um, if we were to look at the assault rifle, um, MP44, um, upgrade wise, um, more damage, increased damage, larger magazine, or I could have gone for bigger melee damage. Um, Explosive rounds, I've only got the one unlock, so I might spend some points on this one. And as far as accuracy goes, grip, better accuracy, and then I've gone for the vampire scope again to get some of that health back, because again, managing health is very tricky in in uh, Zombie Army 4. There's lots of situations in the, in the horde modes, um, well, the horde mode parts of either the horde mode or the campaign, where all of a sudden, you know, you're down to a low health, you haven't really got time to be able to, um, uh, to to use a med kit or you might not even have one but because you've got the vampire scope on you get those critical hits and you get enough health back just to get yourself out of that situation so melee so the special melee attacks again you will unlock these as you level up and they do various things the first one the machete is a little bit weak the electric fists is a little bit better the the Divine Blast is excellent because, again, you're in that situation, you can whack it down and it clears all the zombies around you. So, very, very good. Now, uh, for, let's go to item mods for this. So, as you level up, you can actually change the uh, things that, uh, that uh, an item will do. For example, here, so with the electric trip mine, um, you can either increase the arc range or if I had mod B unlocked I could then deliver more arcs um, good one so the frag grenade um, when you level that up um, it'll either sort of turn into a cluster grenade or you could choose to have it turn into a sticky grenade so you know there's lots and lots of options for changing up your game style here as you progress through the game and then we've got perks so as you level up you get more perk slots to unlock and then if we go into my empty slot here, because I've unlocked one, you can then choose which perk to use. And there's offensive perks, defensive, and then other. So for example, Bombardier, increase offensive grenade throw range. Trapper, increase trap damage. Um, I've gone for weapon focus expert, increase weapon focus damage. So again, when I'm aiming down with my sniper rifle, I can blap that and it's gonna maybe kill more zombies at once. Um, and if you um, click on the little, <coughs> excuse me, padlock, it'll tell you how to, how you're going to get that. So unlock it rank 44. You can only have up to five equipped at once. At the moment, I can have four equipped, um, and so you can change them through for different play styles. Um, <coughs> some of them um, unlock when you do specific tasks. So, for example, paper trail which eventually leads to greatly increasing your stammer recovery speed quite important you have got to collect eight documents um, exterminate to greatly reduce decrease special melee attack <coughs> charge time so that would be very useful because um, to do that you've got to collect eight zombie hands so you see it's not just about leveling up your character through playing and killing things it's about finding things in the game too Right, we've covered a lot of ground there, I think. Um, oh, characters, actually, we didn't talk about. So, <coughs> you may just want to play as Carl. However, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see there's some 
there's some pluses and minuses the green and the red so Carl overkill requires fewer shots to charge his empty lung costs less stamina and he gets increased critical hit chance on long range shots because he's a sniper but he regenerates slower uh, health slower if you go for Shola the engineer her weapon focus requires fewer kills to charge increased trap damage radius and she takes less bullet uh, sh sorry she has less bullet damage resistance so the different characters have different um, perks in and of themselves as well that might want to change it right so we've covered a lot of ground now so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna jump into a horde mode um, so I can kind of you can see what I've kind of been talking about in terms of really about shooting enemies and then using the um, special attacks um, so that you can use them to get out of problems Right, so here we are, start with the horde mode. Um, as you can see, one of my special attacks, the hammer attack, is already charged up, which is cool. So, before we get started up, I'm just gonna got my med kit. Right, now because this is horde mode and not the campaign, I just start off with a pistol. But the first thing we're gonna try and show you is the, uh, the, the pistol special attack. Shall see now. Let's go up here. Actually, actually, we'll pick up another gun now. We should probably have to do the. Right here we go. So I've got to get ten kills to make it work. Always trying to go for headshots. If you look in the bottom of the screen, you'll see it, the, the big circle in the middle is starting to charge up. Right, so now it's charged up. So now if I go up here and I activate it, then there we go. Finish them all off. So let's get some ammo. So you can see how powerful that could be in a close situation. So the next thing we want to show you, we haven't got access to a submachine gun yet, have we? All right, let's let's do let's put some traps down. So using left and right on the D-pad, I can now choose the trip mine. Got zombies behind me, though, so we need to be careful. Suicide. Well, suicide is really dangerous. You want to take them out as soon as possible. Right. You'll notice that we have these red flashing things all around the map. They're explosive. There we go. Let's take out. It's up and down to change the magnification when you've got that unlocked. Right, so now you can see, click in the middle, my sort of super shot, so we're going to press the shoulder button to activate empty lung and <laughs> kind of kill a load of zombies. Pistol out. Oh, it's double tap by the way to get your pistol out, just in case you weren't sure. Right, now I'm going to use my hammer, so I'm going to click down on the right stick. And then a mob next thing we're going to do is a melee attack with X. So watch me take this guy out now. Ready? Here we go. So he does that special. It's a finishing move, actually, isn't it? Stay down. So a new area has opened up. Let's see if we can go and get a shotgun or an SMG. Oop, looks like we've got to get rid of these fellas first. Let's use our hammer on him. Get some of that. I spy. A little trap up there. Missed. 
Gotta watch those fellas that spit nasty stuff. With the armored giants, or the panzer of zombies they used to be called, aim for their soft bits. Okay. Let's just use a bit of empty lung. Again, it's not the powerful one, it's just the normal one. Nice. Nice. Now we've got the other one, so we can take this guy out with that. Maybe. Virtually. Leave one zombie alive. We're just gonna sprint past him, clicking in the left. We're gonna see if we can find a submachine gun. Alright, trench gun. Telemines, different pistol. Okay, so I'm gonna use the uh, shotgun, but the principle is the same as the. Um, Is the submachine gun? Just filling up the stuff. I will probably place the electric mines with these mines because these are really cool. Still got ammo. Right, our ammo's gone. So let's go and get. Is there an ammo refill? Yeah, they are. So the ammo refill is now all the way up here. But we've got three weapons now. We could probably defend from here. So let's kill the last zombie. And what hopefully I'll show you now is the. Uh, shotgun uh, or submachine gun uh, special effect. Right, we're going to put down some mines, aren't we? Since put mine down there, mine planted there. Buggers are going to come behind me. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's move. Serious. So let's use our shotgun just to take out a few of the lesser zombies. Now we've got this charged up, you can see what I can do with the submachine guns, uh, with the shotgun, or the submachine gun. So we aim, right trigger, 
time slows down. <laughs> finish off with that. So, hopefully, that's given you a little bit of an idea about the gunplay um, and how when you unlock these special attacks, either the hammer or the finishing move or slowing down time for your submachine gun or your shotgun and the head bust, brain buster for the pistol um, and the extra power you get for your sniper rifle, you'll see how the, the, the game gets easier and it gets more fun. There we go. Anyway, if you've got any other questions or comments, put them down below. I'm sure you're going to love Sniper Elite. Uh, Zombie Army 4. <laughs> and Sniper Elite. Get that too. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.